What is going on fellow game developers? My name is Muddy Wolf and we are going to be setting up our 2D mini golf game here today. So here I've just got selected a 2D core um, package. You can use 2D URP if you want. You can even use 2D mobile. Um, however, whichever one you select, as long as it's a 2D one, we should be good. So select 2D, give it a name and then just hit create project. I'm using Unity 20, 21.3.11 F1. So we're going to let this load and hopefully everything should be good. Okay guys, so we have got ourselves a open scene here and what I'm going to do, I'm just going to swap to a standard, um, which is essentially just the tool slide modified um, you can see here just makes it easy to see switch the scene to be however you want now this sample scene we're going to just switch this name to be um, level one this will be the first level in our game but we'll get set up in here make sure we get all the mechanics working and we can duplicate this and change it as we need but the first thing we're going to want to do let's just swap this to be a aspect ratio um, the first thing we're going to want to do is actually um, set up a tile map for our game. So what I want to do, right click 2D, create a tile map and we're going to select rectangular. And then in here, we're going to have multiple layers. Now, the first layer we're going to have in here is the water layer, which is going to basically be the background for our game. However, we're not going to be filling out every single tile. We're only going to be filling out the shadows of the water. We then want to duplicate this and call it the grass layer. This will be the base layer for our ground or you could probably even name this the ground layer then finally we're going to have the walls layer which is going to be our collision layer now on this layer we want to add in a tile map collider 2d however we want to set this as used by composite so it makes it a bit more performant and then we need a composite collider 2d for this to actually work now we want to set the um, rigid body type to static um, because we don't need this to move and so you can leave the rest of this as is now I've already gone and created a tile set here. It's a bit blurry because obviously it's pixel art, so it's super small. Um, but I've already created a tile set here. Now, if you want this tile set, um, I will have a link in the description of each video with this, a link to a Google Drive link so you can download this, hopefully. And then that way you can just get access to this whenever you need or want to, which is, is useful. In the last video, I accidentally didn't have it really ready to go and everyone kept asking me for it and I didn't know. But anyway, I'm going to drop this mini golf tile set in here. I'm going to change the pixels to per unit to uh, 32. That's, that's not the right one. There we go. Sorry, this is actually a 16 by 16 tile set, so it's actually going to be 16. I'm going to select the uh, sprite mode to multiple, and then I'm going to change the filter mode to point. We're going to have no compression, and we're going to set this to about 512. I can then hit apply and go to the sprite editor to open this up. Inside of here, what I'm going to do is we're going to slice. Um, we're going to set it by grid by cell size. And we're going to make this 16 by 16. You can see that slice it perfectly to get what we want. Hit slice. And there you go. You can see we have our tile set. The issue with this tile set, however, though, is we're going to need um, the walls to have collision. And to do that, we're going to need to set up the um, collision or physics shapes. So don't forget to apply that. And now to generate a physics shape for each section, we need to just hit generate. You can see these aren't exactly perfect. So I'm going to select this and hit delete on my keyboard. And then I'm going to move this all into place. So I'm going to do this, all of these individually to make sure they fit the each object. This next one, for example, will generate a new one and we can just bring this in. All right, guys, so that's all of them done. Now you can see we have a bunch of different uh, physics shapes. Now what the physics shapes do is in our um, tile colliders, it will make sure the shape of the collider is matching the physics shape, which will be essentially what we want. Otherwise, when you shoot your ball, you may hit like just for, you may think you hit, but you'll hit about here and it'll bounce off and it won't match the actual physics shape or the shape of the object. So this way it just gives us a nice little base for our uh, 
physics. So there we go. Now that's done. What we can do is we can actually drop this down. You can see we have all the items here. But what we want to do is create a tile palette for this. So I'm going to create a new folder, which we're going to call R, which can hold all the art for our game. I'm then going to create a sprite folder where we're going to put the mini golf into. I'm then going to create another folder, which is going to be called or tile maps. Tile map or tile maps either one um and there you go and then inside of window we're going to open up a 2d tile palette like this here which i am just going to dock on the right here off our screen now we can create a new palette and we can name this palette the main palette you can name this way if you want if you have multiple palettes name it whatever you want i'm just gonna call this main and that's gonna ask us where to save this i'm gonna go into our and into our tile maps and i'm just gonna save it inside of here now, inside of our tile maps, I want to create one more folder called tiles. Now, this is going to house all the tiles we generate in a second. So, inside of our sprites, we're just going to grab our mini golf, drag and drop it into our main. Now, inside of here, it's going to ask us where we want to save the tiles. So, we're going to go to tile maps and go tiles and select this folder. And this is just going to import all the assets into our little bit here, which we can then add in. So, there we go. That's looking pretty good. So the next step is in our main camera, what we want to do is just change the color of this to be more water-like. So let's just go up here. Something like this would be good. And we want to copy this color, this hex color, take it to our water and apply it in here. So our water will match the color because we're just going to be using the wall tiles in our water tiles as well to give us shadows. So if we go back to our scene here, you can see we can just come in here and if I press these square brackets keys, you can rotate the way the shadows happen and rotate the tile and there you go, you can see how that works. So the first thing we want to do is we want to lay out our ground tiles. So we're going to select our grass and let's just start off by creating a rectangle. Let's just say something like this will do nicely. Then what we want to do is get our shadow ones and apply them at the top here because that's where our shadows go come from. The sun is going to be coming from the top and it's going to be beaming down here to give us that top shadow effect. We can then get our wall. So we need to swi switch to the walls tiles. We're going to select the shadow wall for the top so we can apply it here. Then select the non-shadow wall and put it around the edges of our map here. We can also put the shadow wall at the bottom here just to give it the effect of this is a 3D area and you're kind of facing it from a different angle. Finally, we want to get the water. We want to select the shadow and what we just want to do is rotate this just to give the shadow effect there. And that's all we need to do. We don't need to fill out the whole area with water because this color matches our background color, which gives us this nice effect. And now you can see how the game is looking and how the tiles should be all set up. Now, I'm not sure this is going to pick up inside of um, our inside of the recording, but you can see if I select the walls, you can actually see the individual tiles on the outside. So if I just turn off the use by composite here, you can actually see these turn into individual squares around the edge. If I turn off the grids, this may make it a bit easier. I think because we're in 2D, we can't turn off the grid. So you can see we can select tile map mode from up here and you can see the green elements around it. So you can see these are individual walls which have selections. If we select our walls and we add in, let's say, the middle walls as well like this, select our normal brush, highlight these and drop that. And you can see it also has its physics masks around it or its physics shape. Uh, which is great however this isn't used by a composite yet so if we go back to our map and click use composite you can see it creates a single edge around each one stopping it from um, being completely out there it makes this one nice and clean as well uh, and it's much more performant for our time map especially when we have a lot of tiles on screen and there you go so that's all our tiles in play here now to remove tiles what we're going to do is go back to none here and i'm going to select this brush and we're going to remove the wall tiles off our grass now one thing you want to make sure is on our rent tile map renderer that our walls are in layer one of our 
ordering layer and our water is a negative one. This means that these water will be behind our grass and the water will be in front of our grass if we ever overlap for any reason. Hey guys, that's the end of this video, this first part of this tutorial series. There's going to be many more. We're going to be doing a um, episode on creating the ball movement and the line renderer, the goal slash hole you score in, the putting hole, um, the game UI, lose and win state, and obviously the menu and level selecting, as well as adding more levels along the way and different features in between those episodes. If there's anything specific you'd like to see in this series, please let me know down in the comment and I'll see if I can create that uh uh, part or the episode part for you as well but that's going to be it for this one don't forget to leave a thumbs up smash that subscribe button and leave a comment down below if you are new around here we have a discord server you can join jump in and get involved with the community if you have any questions feel free to hop in there and give us a chat uh, or message and we'll try and reply as quick as we can it's a bunch of friendly programmers so don't be scared hop in and everyone is willing to help but anyway guys that's it for this video i'll see you in the next one peace out